Hi, I'm Dr. Jeremy Thompson. I'm a medical practitioner and I help people who are confused, people who have anxiety, depression, relationship problems. I help them to identify with their strong qualities that they have within them, help them to take control of their life so that they can end up leading the sort of life that they want. I'm also a family practitioner, which means that I don't just do counselling, I uh, uh, see all the people that come into me out of our community, which means I, I deal with everyday people, people like yourself. Okay, now this is video three. Uh, in video one, we talked about the mixed bag concept. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'd suggest you have a, have a quick look at that because uh, that'll make life easier for us. Um, but basically, the mixed bag concept is uh, um, a way that a lot of people actually uh, think about themselves. Subconsciously, they're not uh, really aware of it, but it's, it's really a view where all your positive qualities and talents and things that you're good at, um, you know, you know that you have those within you, but unfortunately it's all a bit mixed up with your own self-doubts and anxieties and worries and concerns. So that you don't really have a, uh, a strong sense of who you are within there. It's a fairly confused way of looking at yourself and um, it creates a lot of problems. It's half the reason why people have relationship problems and they end up suffering from anxiety and depression and uh, various uh, physical and mental health uh, problems. So it ends up a fairly wishy-washy way for a person to try and go about their life. It's much better if people can identify um, the, the solid base of their positive qualities as that is who they are and then they can lead their lives much more positively and constructively. Okay, so what does that actually look like? Well, that's what we talked about in video two with this model that we call positive centered psychology. Now, essentially, this is a much better mindset for people to have. Uh, it's much more effective than this mixed up way of looking at yourself. Why? Because it helps you to center yourself on your positive strengths because they're the basis of who you really are. Uh, these negative uh, anxieties, worries, bad thoughts, bad feelings that you might have about yourself, these are all things that you've learned at some stage in your upbringing, in your early life or because of various events that have happened to you and now they've got a little bit stuck in your thinking but they're not really who you are. If you can see those out to the side there then it's much easier for you to deal with them uh, effectively. Not only that, by getting a, a sense of yourself there, you then uh, have a direction of where you actually want to move to and move forwards in the future. This positive centered approach is actually what uh, the happier, more productive uh, people in life already do. They uh, Somehow or other, they've already sort of got onto this idea. They have a good sense of self and it's a, a positive sense of self. Okay, now some people actually identify with some of these negative characteristics, only they see themselves like this and on the basis of say one or two negative traits they will judge the whole, their whole being and as if well I'm a depressed person or I'm an anxious person. It would be better if they could identify themselves from this positive centered approach and say well I'm a good person but I do have this anxiety problem at the moment or uh, yeah I'm normally fine but I'm struggling to deal with this depression. Okay so in video three we're going to look at how do you, in practice, actually make the transition from seeing yourself from the mixed bag concept point of view, which is a very confused, difficult way to try and lead your life, to the much better positive centered psychology approach, so that you can uh, identify yourself with your positive talents and abilities and separate yourself from any troublesome uh, aspects of your life, so that you can not only deal with them more effectively, but you can identify with yourself and move ahead strongly and, and find a direction that, that's going to be just right for you. Let me actually give you an example of how this positive centered psychology can work in practice. Now I had a young girl come in to see me, she was sent down from her college because she was uh, suffering from terrible depression, having suicidal thoughts and getting herself into a bit of a bad state. Now she came in to see me and really she fitted well with this kind of mixed bag concept way of seeing herself. Basically, a lot of uh, negative depressive thoughts. Um, she told me that she felt that she was really boring, that uh, she was dull in the head, um, losing interest in life, uh, not enjoying things at all, um, starting to get very moody and teary and uh, not going out and doing all the things that she would otherwise like to be doing. And um, that was the sort of mental state that, that she was in. So I asked her, well, where do all these negative thoughts come from? So then she thought about it and she said, well, probably comes from my, my background. My family were very hard on me, particularly my father. 
the way she described me was one of those tough types that demanded a lot. Whatever she did, she felt it wasn't good enough. So as a kid, she'd uh, developed these sort of negative thoughts. She then told me that um, when she was in high school, she had a bad car accident with uh, some brain injury. In fact, was in hospital for a number of months. It took her a long time to recover from that, and she got set back about two years into schooling. Um, so then through all her high school years, she, she felt she was slow, unable to catch up, and more and more negative thoughts started to build up in her headspace. And now that she was at this course, she found just with the pressures of it that she was really struggling and, and starting to get quite severe depression. Um, now I just simply asked her, well, you know, were you always like that? What were you like as a very small child? Um, and this is what surprised me, she instantly lit up and she said, well, I was crazy. So I said, well, what do you mean you were crazy? So she said, well, when I was really small, I'd always run around and I wasn't afraid of anything. I'd go up to anybody and I'd chatter away to everybody. So people just laughed and said I was crazy. So I thought that was interesting. So I showed her my diagrams um, explaining the positive sentence psychology model. Um, but I asked her more and more about those early years of her life, you know, what she liked when she was in primary school in those very early years in kindergarten and so on, the sort of things she was interested in and talented at. So bit by bit, we gradually were able to build up this picture of the person that she truly was. She then was able to understand how these negative thoughts had got into her head. Um, a lot of which might have been due to the way she was parented. Not that this is about blaming the parents, because I'm a parent myself and I know that uh, all parents love their children and they want the best for them. But unfortunately, uh, we all stuff up, unfortunately, and uh, can make things worse for our kids without realising it. We're trying to help them by giving them advice and helping them with things uh, and telling them what to do. But of course, sometimes we build up, unfortunately, some of these negative thoughts that they then get in their head. So with her, there was uh, a combination of factors that she was then able to see that, yes, this wasn't the way that uh, was, was naturally right for her, that naturally she was this vivacious, positive, energetic person. And um, that was the main thing that she needed to center herself and then start tackling things more effectively. Not only that, it gave her a, a vision for how she could look at her parents. She could see her father in the same way and see the things that she didn't like about him but also accept that underneath that, there was actually a loving, good person there. And she was then able to start relating with her parents much better. She um, came from Scandinavia, this young lady, and her parents were actually coming out to visit. And when they came out, she was able to ask them about things that had happened in her, her childhood, make new understandings of the whole thing, and feel a lot better about herself. Um, as a family practitioner, it means that I see people over the years. So this girl had come back to see me uh, a number of times uh, since we had these original consultations and uh, she's maintained this good feeling of self-belief. All her depression and anxiety symptoms have actually resolved. She's not on any medication or anything and she's happy with her life. She's uh, got this good relationship going with her parents now which she didn't have before and uh, the last I heard of her she was travelling off overseas and uh, involved in doing some uh, good effective work, uh, basically her life back on track again. Now why is this case important? Well it's important for somebody like you, who doesn't even know this girl, but it's important for you because you might have some particular issues and problems in your life and it might be anxiety or depression or some other specific issue that uh, is troubling you. Now dealing with those particular issues is important, but fundamental to everything is having this sense of who you are as a person. Half the time, if you can get that right, the problems themselves just disappear and you have to do minimal work to deal with them. If you don't deal with this issue of self and sort out who the real you is, then you find yourself endlessly trying to sort out issues and problems in your life. Rather than centering it on your, your true self and who you are and moving ahead and doing the things that are, are really right for you. So who is the real you? When someone asks you that question, it's not that easy to answer, is it? Um, you know, do you so, see yourself in this mixed up way or do you in fact have a, a clear sense of the person that you truly are?